Good morning. Good morning. Our gathering hymn this morning is number 433. 433. I have loved you. Verse number two. I have loved you. Verse number two. Gathering hand number 433, I have loved you. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have borne you and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have borne you. Today is the memorial of St. Bernard of Clairvaux. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brethren, in order to worthily celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who made the abbot, St. Bernard, a man consumed with seal for your house, and a light shining and burning in your church, grant that through his intercession that we may be on fire with the same spirit and walk always as children of light. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, 
forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, say to the prince of Tyre, Thus says the Lord God, Because you are haughty of heart, you say, A God am I. I occupy a godly throne in the heart of the sea, and yet you are a man and not a God, however you may think yourself like a God. Oh yes, you are wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that is beyond you. By your wisdom and your intelligence, you have made riches for yourself. You have put gold and silver into your treasuries. By your great wisdom applied to your trading, you have heaped up your riches. Your heart has grown haughty from your riches. Therefore, thus says the Lord God. Because you have thought yourself to have the mind of a God, Therefore, I will bring against you foreigners, the most barbarous of nations. They shall draw their swords against your beauteous wisdom. They shall run them through your splendid apparel. They shall thrust you down to the pit, there to die a bloodied corpse in the heart of the sea. Will you then say, I am a god, when you face your murderers? No, you are a man, not a god. Hand it over to those who will slay you. You shall die the death of the uncircumcised at the hands of foreigners, for I have spoken, says the Lord God. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. It is I who deal death and give life. It is I who deal death and give life. I would have said, I will make an end of them and blot out their name from men's memories. Had I not feared the insolence of their enemies, feared that these foes would mistakenly boast. It is I who deal death and give life. Our own hand won the victory. The Lord had nothing to do with it, for they are a people devoid of reason, having no understanding. It is I who deal death and give life. How could one man rout a thousand? or two men put 10,000 to flight, unless it was because their rock sold them and the Lord delivered them up. It is I who deal death and give life. Close at hand is the day of their disaster and their doom is rushing upon them. Surely the Lord shall do justice for his people. On his servants he shall have pity. It is I who deal death and give life. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Jesus came, Jesus became poor, although he was rich, so that his poverty might become rich. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. Everything from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be heard for one who is rich to it would, it would be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, for men, this is impossible, but for God, all things are possible. Then Peter said to him in reply, 
We have given up everything and followed you. What will be there for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you, that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory, will yourselves sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for the sake of my name will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last and the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. More than the discussions of material richness and poverty, one of the most moving part of our gospel today is the conversation of Jesus and Peter when Peter himself asked the teacher, we have given up everything and followed you. What will be there for us? Truly, it is the disciples of Jesus have obviously given up themselves, their lives, even their future, because they always know following Jesus is the only way for them to attain salvation. Of the many discussions and standards given by Jesus himself, even the disciples also ask, so who will be saved? What shall be left before us? But Jesus answered them and assured them, not because of reward, but Jesus has strengthened their faith and also channeled their hearts towards the right path. More than everything, we could always say that the life of the apostles were not materially rewarding. Even they even lose everything to the extent of giving up themselves and their lives as well. But in the end, the fulfillment was the unfolding of the mission, the growth of the faith, and the richness of the teachings of Jesus was brought forth to many people. The thousands and the many who followed Jesus after the apostles have obviously fulfilled the very grace of God. Like the apostles who continue to discern the will of God in their own lives, we too may have questioned what is then now for us, what is set before us and our own rewards in following Jesus. Sometimes we ask all these questions. We need to be reciprocated on the many things that we give on God. But our own discipleship are the way that we follow Jesus the fulfillment of it all will be answered in the next to come. We have done our mission, and God will fulfill his promise before us. Unlike the rich young man, the disciples gave up everything to follow Jesus. They were assured that they would be rewarded in this life and in the next. May we have a share of the generosity of the disciples. God is not outdone in generosity. May we experience his peace and consolation in this life and eternal happiness in the life to come. We pray. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Following Jesus, we are introduced to a larger family of God. May we welcome each other as mother and father, sister and brother, under the fatherhood of God. We pray. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. It will be hard for the one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. May the rich use money for the service of God's kingdom rather than serve money as an idol. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. The idolatry of money reduces the human being to consumer goods, 
to be used and then discarded. May we see life not just as a matter of eating or drinking, but a life of freedom, love, and concern for the primacy of the human person. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Jesus promised eternal life in the age to come. May our departed brothers and sisters receive the reward of their faithfulness and generosity. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Maria Hong and Dak Thuong No, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the names and petitions written in our Book of Prayers, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Silently, we present our petitions to the Lord. We pray. Lord, Lord, hear our prayers. Almighty Father, give us the grace to love you above all things. May nothing on earth separate us from your love and of you alone who fill our human heart. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 527. 527. The Supper of the Lord. Precious body, precious blood, sin is bread and wine. Hear the Lord repairs the peace. May the brethren may sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer to your majesty, O Lord, the sacrament of unity and peace as we celebrate the memorial of the abbot St. Bernard, a man outstanding in word and deed, who strove to bring order and conquered to your church, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For on this festival of your Saint Bernard, you bid your church rejoice, so to your strength in her. By the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, the company of angels and saints who sing the hymn of your praise, as without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy,
You are indeed, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. The partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Barry our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form a divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. To deliver us, Lord, you pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, is said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. May the food we have received, O Lord, as we honor St. Bernard, work its effect in us, so that strengthened by his example and instructed by his teaching, we may be caught up in love of your incarnate word, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Mass has been offered during the go with the peace and love of Christ. Amen. Thanks be to God. Our sending forth hymn is number 378. 378. Praise to the Lord. Praise to the Lord. 